Hi everyone, I hope you're keeping well and staying safe. Thanks for tuning in. Today I just want to show you how to make one of my favorite soup, bitter leaf soup. Um, I can't tell you how medicinal and how healthy bitter leaf is. Bitter leaf is um, very popular in Nigeria. It is a vegetable, it's bitter, just as the name says. And that bitterness is actually the benefit in bitter leaf. It brings a lot of benefit. Unfortunately, a lot of the times we wash our bitter leaf and wash off the bitterness. I would rather use a few leaves of bitter leaf, retain the bitterness and have the full benefit of it because I can't tell you enough how good bitter leaf is. I can personally tell you of my experience when I was having cancer treatment. I would use bitter leaf to um, soup and I'll just feel the effect of the um, chemo wear off just as I eat that soup. So today we'll see a quick simple recipe for bitter leaf soup. So for our bitter leaf soup we will be using um, some cut, fresh cut fish Cocoa yam for thickening. I'm going to boil that for 30 for about 20 minutes or until soft. Um, just about five seeds of local spins, some chili, some crayfish. The main ingredient, which is the bitter leaf, this is frozen, but it is um, best to use fresh where you can. But no access to fresh here. Frozen. You can actually get the dried one as well from uh, the Asian shop and then you you soak it just to hydrate it for for your soup and um, we use a dash of red oil so I'm going to start by these are washed already my hands are washed I'll start by boiling that until it is soft So the cocoa yam is boiled and soft. I boiled it for about um, 20 minutes just so it's softened. I didn't take the skin off. I'm going to peel the skin off when I'm ready to use, use the cocoa yam. And this is going to be our thickener for the soup. Add some water to it. So you could also use beef for this. If you are using beef, you would um, parboil your beef until tender. So, but it's fish, so I'm just gonna start like so. Place my fish in the pot. So, this is catfish. You could actually make this soup with um, just dry fish as well. Add half a tablespoon of salt to the fish. I'm adding two no seasoning, two no cube seasoning. Okay. So place a lid over it and just bring it to a boil slowly. So whilst the fish is boiling, I'll start peeling my cocoa yam. I've boiled that the cocoa yam for about 20 minutes or until tender, depending on the size of the cocoa yam. So it is easy to take the skin off after boiling it once it's soft it's a bit slimy but that's okay that's the very nature of cocoa yam we would um, be making the cocoa yam into a paste to be used as a thickener for the soup So because I'm using um, fish, I'm not going to waste time because I don't want to overcook my fish. So I'm going to add my crayfish, my five or six seed of local beans, scent pepper, so that it all goes in with the fish. So I put a lid over there and let it continue to cook. I'm going to blend and add the red chilies as well. I'm adding my blended chili to the mix as well. 
So this is 10 minutes later and a fish and all the condiments starting to boil. So what I'm going to do is add my the mashed cocoa yam. So add it in tiny chunks just so it gets a chance to melt. It, it is quite slimy. It's going to give it that consistency we want. So I've added the cocoa yam. So once you add the cocoa yam, I'm also going to add some of the bitter leaf. Because I'm using dried bitter leaf, I'm going to add it now. I've hydrated my bitter leaf as best as I can. And also, I'm going to stop there. I don't want to overdo it. Probably add another handful. So I've added a bitter leaf and cocoa yam. I'm going to put that on I'll turn down the heat and let that cook. So that's been cooking slowly for about five minutes. So we don't want our fish to be all squashed. I'm just gonna add the final ingredient, which is the oil. So I'm happy, just a tablespoon of oil. And actually you can do without the oil. So it becomes like white soup, that's fine, but if you must, I just add a little bit because uh, palm oil is high in cholesterol. So I just use very little palm oil. So I just like that, just bring it to the boil. So that's boiling after like one minute. I turned up the heat and that's ready. That's a bitter leaf soup made with um, catfish. So that's ready now for consumption. It looks a bit runny now, but once it sets, when it gets cold, it's going to thicken. So our soup is ready and I've made some eba. Eba is made from fermented cassava. So this dough was made from with hot water and cassava flakes which is from fermented cassava. It is very healthy because it's fermented. It um, contains um, very little carbohydrate. That's why it's not filling when you eat it. You don't feel very full. This was one of the meals I had for dinner throughout when I was, the year I was having um, chemotherapy. And I can tell you, you instantly feel the benefit. You just feel the chemo being flushed out of the body. And I can't tell you the benefit enough. You just have to try. So you have a go. Try it. Let's know how you get on. And I hope you find it as enjoyable as I do. So thanks for watching. And until next time, stay safe. God bless.